Thank you so very, very much. It's great to be here tonight. I'm U.S. Congressman Brian Babin. Uh, I represent the 36th uh, Congressional District of the great state of Texas. Uh, thank you. I'm new to Congress, <clears throat> but I can say without doubt that this is the most important election cycle that we will ever have in our lives. For the past seven years, America has been battered by Obama's disastrous policies. From, from Obamacare to the insane Iranian deal, people are hurting and they're angry. And we simply cannot afford four more years of the Obama-Clinton policies. America is at the breaking point. So with that, I say to you, our time is now. Let's take America back. Let's secure our borders. Let's rebuild our military. And let's stop apologizing for the nation that we are. We are a nation founded on the Judeo-Christian values. We should be proud of this. We don't need to change America. And that's why I've been very deeply concerned with Obama's reckless abuse of the UN refugee plan. I may be the last speaker tonight, but this issue is a first priority. By expanding the program to hotbeds of Islamic radical jihad terror, Obama is inviting the problems of the Middle East in the turmoil into the United States of America. Now, how many of you folks out there uh, have seen uh, the American people put at risk every day by this uh, ridiculous program that has been uh, uh, put forth by the president and, and he simply doubles down each time. Obama's own Department of Homeland Security and his F FBI director has said they cannot properly vet uh, these, these folks that are clamoring to come into our country. And while it's not on page one in the news today, Folks, we cannot afford to wait because it is only a matter of time before we see another terrorist attack like Paris, like San Bernardino, or like the Houston refugee plot that was planning to blow up a shopping mall in my district. This level of threat requires a bold response by the U.S. Congress and a very hard look at this refugee program or else we will continue to see abuses of this program that will cost innocent Americans their lives. That's why I have introduced the Resettlement Accountability and National Security Act, or H.R. 3314, which puts Congress back in the driver's seat of the refugee program. We have sworn an oath to protect the safety and security of the American people, and I know that I will not stop pushing this bill and the security of the American people in pursuing all opportunities to protect Americans. American people, the American people are desperate for strong new leadership in this country. How many of you have seen the uh, movie called The American Sniper? My son, Leif Babin served as Sniper Chris Kyle's platoon commander in Iraq. And with blood, sweat, determination, and sacrifice, they did what many said could never be done. They took back control of Ramadi, Iraq in 2006 from an evil and determined enemy. And this is, shows that what can be done when we have the right leadership Americans can do the impossible. I'm going to repeat that. With the right leadership, Americans can and will do the impossible. <laughs> Folks, it is time to move past the failed leadership of, the, of, of Barack Obama and retake the White House and restore America's standing in the world. This election presents one simple but very important question. Do we continue down Obama's destructive road or do we reclaim America's greatness? It's easy for me to answer that and I'm sure it is for you as well. And with the U.S. Supreme Court now in the balance, it's even more important. Just look at the Democratic presidential candidates that we are being offered today. We have one candidate who is under FBI investigation and she has had a swirling cloud of corruption around her for 20 years. The other one is a self-described uh, avowed socialist. Never has the contrast between the parties been more well-defined. Folks, our time is now. 
Take America back. I want to thank each and every one of you for what you do for this country and for the conservative cause. I want to thank CPAC for this annual event. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you.